emotions out there. Uh, yeah, just excited. I mean, um, yeah, it was just the atmosphere, just the fans and everything. It was just um, definitely a dream come true. It was awesome. This week. Can you kind of put the last three months of your life? Yeah. Now you're here. I mean, I talk to people about it. Honestly, it's just like, I mean, it's just it all kind of feels normal now. Like being down here, you know, like this is, um, just kind of my life now. But it definitely all like transpired kind of um, uniquely, and like it was, um, it was kind of crazy. That was especially the months like in the summer when I was getting down here into that camp and stuff. Um, but I'm just grateful for uh, University of Nebraska just getting me down here and um, being a part of this team. And, um, just trying to do anything I can to help. Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Yeah. Kind of maybe not this week. Uh, when how you were told you were going in today and what your first play was. In there yeah. Was um, I just was because I was kind of doing the double signal with or I was kind of signaling there with Mike and um, I just heard Coach Will say Jalen say my name and then Coach Thomas told me I was going in. And I was like, all right, sweet. Uh, kind of got some balls in with Danny, just kind of get my arm loose and stuff. And then I think the first play we ran. Um, Shoot, I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, no, I just kind of got told, and I just got, yeah, started ready to go. I kind of, I mean, I was kind of ready to roll. Um, I was kind of joking with Isaiah and before the game, like, you know, hey, I need you to play well. You know, you'll get me in the game and stuff, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was cool. Yeah. What has the adjustment been like from NI, NAIA ball yeah. to, to now being here and, and seeing how this team operates? Yeah, uh, honestly, I think, like, the trenches, like just the O line, D line, guys are a lot bigger in there, and like there's obviously a lot more depth that we have on the team here than with my, my previous team. But um, as far as like I get asked about the speed of the game and stuff, it kind of all for me, it kind of all feels the same. Um, yeah, the game's pretty, you know, it's the same for me. Honestly, it feels like not too much of a difference, but um, I would say yeah, just everything's uh, just a little bit bigger out here. Obviously, you know, the fan, just having ninety thousand people in front of you, I never really had that before. But um, I don't think it's too big of a not too big of a difference, honestly. Were there any Were there any nerves entering the game, or just how did you feel? Yeah, when you were yeah, definitely. I I usually always get nervous before games and stuff, but uh, coach talked to us too a lot this week about like once, you know, once we get in that reading room, like the hour before the game or twenty minutes before the game, like uh, get that nervous energy out of there because um, you know really nothing to be nervous about when you're playing alongside your teammates and they got your back and stuff. So, but I definitely get butterflies before the games always. Yeah. So how just do you, see what, how do you how do you de- how do you deal with that like when you. Just try to stay calm, poised. Um, just try to, yeah, just keep, control your emotions. And just, yeah, that's kind of how I do it. To see, you know, what Dylan did in his first game in college, how impressive is it, uh, just his performance overall? Yeah, I thought he was very impressive. Um, just making all the, the right plays. I mean, I think he called, like, a shot play, and, like, he didn't force the double move. He just came back to the comeback. And I thought he just operated pretty, you know, just very smoothly. Um Made a lot of routine plays. Your teammate coach talks about that all the time. Just making routine plays, and yeah, I thought, I thought, yeah, looked looked well. It was really good. It's good that you were part of some winning programs before. Yeah. The previous stop. Oh, yeah. What what about like what qualities do you see today from your guys that maybe were, were similar to what you saw? Yeah, I, today I saw like coach talking about it a lot. He always talks about that. Ever since I've been here, I think yeah, my previous school we did that really well. You know, like I think we hit. Are we like the player? You know, we had that fumble, you know, on the goal line, then they get the safety, and then we go on score. There's things like that, how you can just kind of snowball and like go on runs, like Coach talks about going on basketball runs and football. Um, I thought that's what I saw about that's great things, you know, for this team is complimentary football and just, um, yeah, playing all, all, all phases, just kind of meshing together. A couple weeks back, Garrett McGuire said at first you were at the spring coaching camp, and then all of a sudden you were at the post grad camp. Like, yeah. Can, can you walk me through that time frame and kind of where your head was at and now finally yeah. getting a chance to be here and, and playing football? Yeah, so I came into that camp. I have a brother who coaches at Sheldon High School. He's a, he's a defense coordinator there. And so he wanted to come down to the camp um, to kind of, you know, just gain some knowledge from the staff and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'll tag along. You know, we're both high school fans and stuff. So I, and I want to get into coaching too, obviously. And, um, yeah, I tagged along to that. And then, yeah, I don't know if you know much about my story. And this kind of, yeah, I wanted to go to that camp, just kind of wanted to come out of that camp. And then things kind of just, yeah, it's kind of just snowballed from there, and then I ended up here, and yeah, I don't know. it's been crazy. Yeah. Were there any conversations you had then, or, or that kind of led to, to you now getting this opportunity, or just things you picked up coaching wise that helped you now? Yeah. Um. I think just like my grandpa always kind of told me, just like 
um, just wherever you're at, like or about the depth chart or whatever your role is, like just having a great attitude and having a great effort, and that just kind of like um, I think just brings everyone around you, just um, lifts everybody up, and not being like a at my old school we talked a lot about like not being a drain, you know, being a fountain and lifting everybody up around you, and so I think that that coaching piece of it or, or that I kind of try to be that way, I guess. That nickname Jalen Football stuff. Yeah. Is that still a thing? Yeah, coach that. Uh, he was kind of in my ear when I went in there, and he was, yeah, he was, he was, he was calling me that in the in the mic there in my ear and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's kind of stuck. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. Is that new this year? Or did you have that previously? No, that's that's something I think Coach G and I think Coach Sat kind of started calling me. So also got to see Heiner kid in the game. Just to, yeah. What did you see out of him, and just what have you learned from him just being around him? Yeah, um, I thought he did well. Yeah, he was. I think uh, he was wanting to score on that goal line there when he came in. Um, but yeah, it's been awesome being around Rick. He's kind of got a lot of experience um, of the group, you know, at, at this level, I guess. And I've kind of had some experience too, but he's got he's got the experience at this level. And he's just he's been a great teammate. Um, you know, and he kind of got the need to be the backup and stuff. Like his demeanor never changed. He was um, just so supportive, and he's been that way, you know, the whole time. Ever, ever since I've been around him, he's just a great teammate. And he's fun. He's awesome to be around. So. Did you say Shelton High School or Shelton High School? Shelton, yeah, okay. that's what my brother. Yeah, yep, my brother coach that. Good. Coach that Shelton. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I kind of jumped to another question. You know, I know this didn't just come on your radar at the summer. Yeah. Um, knowing that, what was it like for you to get out there in front of those, in front of those fans? I should say. Yeah, I was kind of telling you, it was kind of a dream come true. Just kind of everything that I when, I when I came here, obviously I wanted to come and play and stuff, and so it was great for my coach to get me in there and stuff, and um. Just to be able to play and yeah, play in front of the fans, playing in front of that stadium. Yeah, grew up as a kid, just watching a lot of games, watching all you know, the great quarterbacks come through here, and it was just fun to be out there and be part of it. And like, you know, a long distance to be traveled from standing out here in June, yeah. walking into that that post grad camp. Yeah, it's been a lot of hard work. Just the summer summer grind, fall camp grind. Um, yeah, if you were told me you know three months ago that I was down here on the team doing this, you know. I'd, Talk about you crazy, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a great ride. I'm grateful for all. Are there things about being a part of this team and being a part of this program that have caught you by surprise, or that have kind of exceeded your expectations? Time that you've been a part of this. Yeah, I think just like the attention to detail and everything we do. Um, just you know, being on time for you know meals, um, meetings, just everything. Like, there's nothing like just stuff that distracts you. You know, I think that's how you do. Coach talks about how you you know. How you do one thing, how you do everything. Um, I think that's just gonna, it's going to breed success, you know, down the road. And I think it's good. You mentioned your brother. Did you have any family or friends in the stands today? Yeah, a lot of fans. So I had my parents here. Um, my brother and his wife were here. Um, my sister was here. Her, her boyfriend. I had a uh, aunt and uncle. There, a couple of their kids. I had um, my one of our couple of family friends were here. I think that was yeah, that was well made. So yeah, I had a lot of family here. They, they kind of. After the game, they kind of I, I I had to get in the locker room. They kind of pulled me aside quick and kind of gave my parents a hug and stuff. They were they were fired up to see me, you know. Yeah. Did you find tickets for all of them? Yeah, I got I I found some. I, someone paid. My grandparents were here too as well. I can't put them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I got a couple for yeah. I was able to get some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone, but. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah.